Pierre called me in December of uh, 2010 and said, I'm about to fulfill my lifelong dream. I'm going to Jaffa, where I was born, and I'm going to teach Israeli and Palestinian children to dance together. And I said, I'm going with you, not realizing that he was starting in February, and it was December, and somehow I had to raise money, put together a team, and get to Jaffa in two months. We were trusting each other. She knew that I, were, that I was a dancing person with the, um, with the children and she thought it would be a good story and I loved working with her, being close to her. It was a nightmare. Okay, see, I normally do feature films. I don't do documentaries. So you can't exactly call agents and say which documentary directors do you represent because very few of them have agents and the ones that do are huge documentary directors who are booked for the next five years. So it, it would became a really steep learning curve to try to figure out how to pull this together and put together the team in a way that, you know, made sense. It's a small crew. My director was Israeli and uh, the cameraman and sound were Israeli. You know, in, in a feature film, you have this huge crew. A tiny, tiny crew. And like you're, you know, there's no video village. You are running around with the cameraman. You have to stay behind him the whole time. So it's incredibly athletic. Um, you know, watching the film as opposed to relaxing at uh, Video Village. For the financial side, the whole beginning was friends and family. I mean, literally, my husband would leave in the morning and go to work, and I'd say, do not come home without a check. I don't care how much it is, do not come home without a check from somebody. And so we, you know, we slowly got that, and then I was able to uh, put together a three-minute teaser, and we went, and um, with that, I was able to get my big investors who came on board. We, the first one we had never done before, so it was a huge learning curve to figure out how to do it. I mean, it, it's complicated. You think it's going to be easy. It's not so easy. But we raised just the beginning. I think we raised about fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 to be able to get to, um, to Jaffa, you know, to start the process of getting there. And then the next one was just the finishing funds. And at that point, we were more experienced and we had a more complex you know, um, we, we cut together footage and we cut it together with, with all of us speaking and we did updates. So we were much more expert at it at that point. Uh, Morgan was the first person I called. Um, I knew Morgan and I said, you've got to help me through this. You're the documentary guru. Teach me, tell me what to do, what do I do? And he was the guy I called to ask what to do each step of the way. So I'd be talking to Morgan, he'd be in London, he'd be you know, in all these weird places, but he was amazing and he was my sounding board and my guide through the whole thing. Well, I mean, for me, it's always about something, you know, Things that are personal to me are very important. You know, I grew up the youngest of three ballet dancing brothers in West Virginia, which was the very uncool thing to do in West Virginia. But dancing was such an important part of my life growing up, and it does instill a tremendous amount of confidence in you. It changes the way you look at the world, the way you interact with other people. It does, um, it does, it, it does teach you how to really, I think, interact with other people in a very different way. And so for me, the minute they told me about this film and what Pierre was about to undertake, I, I was like, I'm in. I will do anything I can to help you. Um, and I just think it's a beautiful movie, it's a great story.